I'm Jordan Perkins, staff reporter for the Columbia Chronicle with the Media Hub Minute. In the Student Government Association's General Assembly meeting November 16th, President and CEO Kwang Woo Kim announced a 10% tuition increase that will take effect in the 2022-2023 academic year, as well as changes to other fees at Columbia. In addition to tuition increasing by more than $2,600, the college announced that rates for living in the residence halls next year will increase by 2.5% and fees for instruction, registration, the health center, and student activities will become standardized and cost more than $1,400 per year. Kim says part of the reason for a tuition increase is the long-term goal of moving the college's financial model to a more sustainable one. There is also a $1.5 million student aid pool established by the Board of Trustees that includes new scholarship funds for continuing Columbia students. With this, Kim says the college wants to do everything it can to make sure students not only continue at Columbia, but thrive and succeed as well. The Blue Man Group returned to live performances at Chicago's Briar Street Theater this month at 3133 North Halsted Street with new ways to entertain audiences. Blue Man Group Captain Tom Galassi and stage manager Brett Presson say the show essentially wasn't a COVID-friendly one, so the production team worked hard to make sure performances follow safety protocols, such as making replacement segments that don't involve the audience as much. Galassi says the fun part of the show is having no handbook on what to do with the performances and getting audience members to connect with one another. Performances from the Blue Man Group continue well into 2022. The NBC sitcom The Office can now be explored by fans at 540 North Michigan Avenue in a two-story immersive display called The Office Experience. The experience takes fans throughout the nine seasons of the show with replicas of the Dunder Mifflin parking lot and office space, as well as the real props and costumes from NBC Studios. Vice President of Carol Fox & Associates Alex Jakubiak says companies Superfly X, Universal, and show creator Greg Daniels made it a top priority to create an authentic experience so the fans could feel like they were stepping into the middle of an episode of the show. The Office experience will continue until January 17th, 2022. With the Media Hub Minute, I'm Jordan Perkins. Thanks for watching.